Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on the Taurus new moon. So this new moon in Taurus is going to be on May 11th and we're going to dive into how this new moon may be affecting you, maybe a few things that you need to know about it, how to work with it. And let's get started. So what I'm gonna have you do is pick a pile number or a little charm. So pile number one or the rose, pile number two or the dragon, pile number three or the selenite, pile number four or the geode crystal. While you guys are choosing, I do wanna make a quick announcement of all the different platforms that you can find me on. So we have YouTube here where I talk about manifestation anything and everything right and then we have patreon which dives a little bit deeper into our spirituality more topics that we cannot necessarily talk about here on youtube and then you guys i have my shop you guys can purchase items that i hand make myself and the last one you can also find me on OnlyFans now it's a place where we can talk about sexuality sex the spirituality of sex and if you guys are interested the link will be down below there will be no nudity nothing of that sort this is just a safe place to talk about sex and sexuality where we can't dive into uh, on YouTube so you can also find me on Instagram and I'll leave all the links down below all right you guys let's start pile number one or everybody that picked the rose so this Taurus new moon Interesting how we have so many blues and greens. So a lot of you may be Taurus or have Taurus in your or a sun and moon rising. Queen of Pentacles. This is growth. This is a person that is financially growing. So the new moon is bringing you definitely financial growth. Eight of Wands upside down, which means you're going to be asked this new moon to direct your focus and attention onto your growth. Um, mm -hmm, that's going to be a theme. And we also have Matangi right here. Now, when this card comes up, she is one of the 10 uh, Mahavidyas, which is like the 10 goddesses. Um, when this card comes up, she sees worth where others don't. Um, it's signifying like you can't find some kind of fulfillment uh, living in another's dream instead of your own. This card also brings a message of don't disrespect the divine feminine. Stop disrespecting the feminine nature. Um, connect with the feminine nature. Connect with your own feminine nature. Use music. Use play. Use dance. Connects you to her and her is... It's an energy of um, freedom, light, flight, flight, you know, birds, feathers, um, lightness, which you experience that lightness when you are like playing, dancing, you know, it, it's this lightness. And I think this new moon needs you, needs to bring you that lightness through some sort of growth. We have connect to source. Go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. Focus on your growth. Focus on your growth, okay? Don't focus on stupid things. Stop focusing on other people. Stop focusing on negative thoughts. Stop it. This new moon is telling you to tap into a different kind of an energy. Dance, play, okay, music, art. Uh, creativity it's going to help you grow you have to change your focus looking at the underbelly okay be sure that you are using your time in the best way possible you might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you're working on could use some fine-tuning yeah you're being asked to re your attention needs to be somewhere else your focus needs to be somewhere else you're focusing on the wrong thing way too much and this new moon is going to shift your focus back to your own growth. 
looking at the underbelly of it, connecting to your own higher self, and just feeling that energy of, you know, when you get lost in play or dance, music. And then the last card that we have here is Blue Tara. So when Blue Tara comes up, this is a very peaceful future. This is um, asking you to create space for what you want, clear the way for what you want. You know, you feel out of control and it's it's just because there's, you have to clear the way and create space for what you want. Do something to bring you some peace. So the, the new moon is asking you to do something. The new moon wants to bring you certain energies, but you have to open up that channel by redirecting your focus. And how you can do that is relax, calm down, um, do things that make you feel at peace because that's what's going to clear the way. Also, um, the lotus. The lotus grows in the mud. It grows from muddy waters, but look how beautiful it becomes. It sits atop the muddy waters and it looks so beautiful. So the new moon has a lot to show you regarding your own growth, but you got to let it in. How do you do that? You got to be at peace, relax, dance, music, play, okay? So focus on those things during this new moon. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Pile number two, or everybody that picked the dragon. Let's go ahead and see what is this new moon going to be showing you. So we have the nine of pentacles. It seems like it's a message for you to appreciate what you have grown, appreciate what you have cultivated, but don't stop. Knight of Cups, there's an offer coming in. There is romance coming in. There's proposals, opportunity, something coming in. And the message is like, yeah, like you can go for it. You can accept offers and gifts and stuff, but don't stop culminating and don't stop, you know, planting your seeds and growing what you've grown. Four of Pentacles is this energy of like, for some, you're hoarding and you're holding on way too tight. And for some, you know, you put a lot of value on materialistic things, get almost lost and entrapped in them, put way too much like sentimental value on a materialistic thing. Um, Dang, I feel like something good is coming, but the message is don't hang on to it so tightly. Um, hmm. Let me go ahead and let me see why these cards lined up next to each other. I have this little book that I like to refer to when I want to know like all the details of that card. Hard. So four of pentacles, mm, holding on to your possessions too much, it's holding on to your emotions too. It seems like maybe you're going to get something really, really good, okay, but you're going to be holding on to some past emotions and this new moon is telling you you got to work through some of those and let them go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yes, it's okay to preserve, but make sure that you're doing it in a way that benefits you and doesn't harm you. Um, you got to release some feelings, okay? You fear saying certain things will result in hurt or loss. You know, at that point, you have to get, you have to get a little bit of help in how you want to express yourself. So that means you could like, you know, get some therapy maybe to understand how to make clear and direct statements about how you feel and how you want to express yourself. Or maybe you can get go to a spiritual advisor or maybe journal or maybe just sit with yourself and ask yourself what truly how you're truly feeling why you don't want to speak or why you don't want to say certain things you're clamming up and it seems like this beautiful thing is coming but you're gonna clam up and your fear of letting go of something that has just been carefully acquired so maybe this opportunity is gonna come or this uh, proposal or whatever and you're just gonna be like hmm, but i've 
I've built all this and if it's, if I say yes to this, then what, is, what does that mean? So I think, um, let's go to this, 41, Krishna. You are fire, masculine. Um, okay. This card, when it pops up, it's asking you to offer your pain or offer something um, because you can have what you want. Another question to ask yourself with this card is, are you ready for what, like, if you got what you wanted, are you truly ready for it? Now, offerings open up a channel between you and the divine. So I think you're being called to make some sort of an offering this new moon to your spirits, your spirit guides, even your higher self, the moon, you know, and it will really help you in accepting this offer, you know, with a light heart and like just in accepting it lovingly. Adrift in shallow water, take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small changes. Why did I say changes? Notice the small things and appreciate them. So be grateful for the little things, you guys, this new moon, because it is going to set a small fire. Okay, so make sure that you journal or write down or like talk about things, at least like 10 things. You know what? No, no, no. 15. 15 things that you're grateful for. I just saw something, nine plus four plus one is 15. So if you want to, you can also Google the numbers one and five or 15 angel numbers and see what those numbers have in store for you. But that is going to be your reading, you guys, and the dragon. Gentle but fierce, strong, f like fire, <laughs> right? Um, but you gotta control that fire, channel it, channel it in a way that benefits you okay don't hold on to it like this where it burns you all right you guys that's your reading thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you real soon bye pile number three or everybody that picked selenite crystal let's go ahead and start with the knight of wands okay so this new moon in taurus taurus is already like that bull you know that's very strong bold energy and then we have the Knight of Wands, which is also the same. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm looking through my book to find the Knight of Wands page because I feel like I want to read to you guys everything that this card has to really say. Knight of Wands pops up when you're ready for something new. There's clear vision. There's purpose. This new moon could be bringing you adventure, travel, a new house. Um. There also can be an energy of being really relentless, impulsive, and rushing into something. Um, a sense of cockiness and confidence is going to be coming in. But the new moon bringing this energy, it might bring a lot of it. So make sure that you change your direction with ease. Don't you know, rush into it. Don't be relentless. Don't be impulsive think before you act. There's a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. This is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It's a time to reconsider what you're wanting. Hmm. You may be in for a surprise. So, so this new moon is kind of changing your perspective, changing your mind about something, kind of making you look a little bit, uh, look from a different filter, right? And so you just, it, this energy comes in real strong and you want to change direction, but you want, you want to change direction like right now. Like you're just like, oh my God, I saw, I saw my dream house. I want it right now. And then you just go and you start making like all these changes, you know, but change the direction with ease. You know, what do you need to do to get the new house? You know what I'm saying? So the last card that we have for you guys, you guys is such a short reading because there's just like a straight to the point message from the new moon to you. So we have the Dharma of Gali, number 37. 
when this card pops up, this is asking you to move away from crowd or crowd mentality. You know, um, I also see you're going to be driven from your inner, from a place within you, not for an external reward. Maybe you were so focused and driven and ambitious, and, you know, for so many things in your life and this new moon is changing your perspective into your spirituality or maybe like, you know, your emotional state or something or making you want to, you know, take up a new direction in your life and you just want to do it really fast. But it's asking you to like, there's a reason that you are feeling like this and that your attention is changing um, and just take it with ease, go slow, explore it, you know? Have fun with it. Um, listen to yourself. Don't conform. And don't do things that don't resonate with you. And I think that's a huge thing this new moon is going to bring to your attention. It's like, dang, I've been doing that and I never even really liked it or I wasn't even happy or whatever, you know? And you're just going to all of a sudden be like, I, I want to do this now because that wasn't even making me happy. You want to shift from one to the other real quick, but it doesn't happen like that. So we have here the selenite crystal. So the selenite is something that you could use to, you could rub it all over your body and recharge and like, you know, cleanse. You can also put it around crystals or your deck of cards or a book or something you're reading to cleanse it. Um, sorry, that was my phone. Uh, you could use selenite to cleanse your beauty products. You kind of like just put it near your beauty products and there's so many things you could do with it. So use selenite crystals, this new moon to cleanse your energy, to cleanse, you know, your herbs or whatever it is. Um, and maybe sleep with it next to you. Maybe put it underneath the new moon and make sure that you just go slow with this new found, I want to say excitement, zest for life. So that is going to be your reading, group number three. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Pile number four, or everybody that picked the geode crystal, let's go ahead and see what this new moon is bringing you. So the first card we have here is Mantra Shakti. So when this card comes up, this is the power of your voice, your throat chakra. Your word is a vibration. You know, it's sound, sound is directed into, no, this is asking you to direct your sound, your voice into intentional form. So everything you speak, everything you say, make sure it, you know what you're attracting when you're talking. Voice affects reality. Use mantras to change the energy. So this new moon, I feel like your words are going to have a lot of power, expression. You know, there's going to be a lot of energy of self-expression, communicating. Um, the fact that we have, you know, seeing both sides right next to it. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. So you're going to get to talk and communicate about something, express yourself about something, use your voice. And with it, there comes this something comes to a resolve or like it seems like a conflict coming to resolve in this new moon in Taurus and the Guna Tantrika. So this card means it restores balance to your mind, body, and soul. So there, okay. So I have some notes on this card that I kind of want to go over with you guys really quickly. So, okay. Mind, body, and soul. Okay. Sattva, rajas, and tamas. Sattva is in the moment and there's peace. Okay. Rajas is fire and action. Tamas is slow down, heal, and ground yourself. From those three things, what is it that you need to balance out? Too much tamas is depression. Too much rajas is burnout. <clears throat> Too much sattva is you become dismissive. So you need to find inner peace 
And for that, we need to use our voice and we need to see both sides of this situation and express ourselves clearly and directly. We need to open up the geode. The geode only shines like this. When you crack it open, you guys, see, you need to express yourself. You need to say something. This new moon is telling you, you gotta say something. Death and rebirth and the king of pentacles. So death and rebirth, this card is interesting because it's the death card in tarot, obviously, but it also has rebirth there. So it's the ending of you holding on to something, suppressing something. You were keeping something inside and it was keeping your light inside. And do you see what is happening? It's cracking now. And it's just some conflicted situation is really going to find a resolution. The king of pentacles... Hmm. This is a high status type of a person or energy. This is earthly achievements. Um, this is also a person that could love riches and is very clever in business and finances. Very hard worker, patient worker. Um, this card also, I feel like there's whatever was conflicting was a block in something to do with either your business, your finances, your like something with your money. Okay. So your money was tied to some kind of an emotion that you were holding onto and this new moon, you express it. Hence the death and rebirth, hence this cracking open and this inner peace. So it's a good energy for you. Okay. So that was your reading group number four. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.